And we've got a news alert and a warning for people who live along the Emeet River. This guy's at large and dangerous. He was last spotted near the East Baton Rouge Livingston Parish line. Tonight, people are locking up their homes and staying vigilant. And new at 10, we've learned a little bit about his past. Dennis Champagne did time for attempted rape and aggravated battery. Police say he beat his victim into a coma. He's on parole and probably is running because he doesn't want to go back to jail. But authorities want to lock him back up. And earlier today, helicopters flew above the area near the Frenchtown Road Conservation Area where he was last spotted. They used dogs to follow his trail. They've been looking for him since Tuesday when he was spotted in Walker and took off. Schools were put on lockdown then, but cops lost sight of him. He's wanted on multiple warrants, including failure to register as a sex offender. So far, he has eluded the cops tailing him tonight. And News 2's Brittany Weiss has more on the manhunt and the news alert that's got people on edge. She is live in the newsroom with more. The search is still going on, and agencies say they will continue their search through the night. We want to show you this picture one more time. This is Dennis Champagne, and tonight he's got lots of people concerned. We shop, but our doors are locked and closed. So Kim Salisbury says she's never seen anything quite like this in her quiet neighborhood. The people back here, we don't like drama. We don't have drama in our neighborhood. Many people turned in early or already inside for the night. Doors normally open are locked. We never have the police here. That's the good part about living back here. There's no police for nothing. All agencies are on deck searching for this man, Dennis Champagne. They set a perimeter near the Breck Frenchtown Road Conservation Area. As the sun set, K-9 units searched the woods. State police and the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office took to the sky. He is considered dangerous, and that's why we're taking this very serious. This morning, state troopers spotted Champagne on the side of the road. As they approached him, he ran off into the woods. Sheriff Jason Ard says his deputies have been at this all day and will continue their search into the evening. We're going to try to continue this uh, throughout the night. I'm not sure how late. But uh, as long as we have physical evidence that he's still in that area, we feel like it's our, our duty to stay in this area. Until Dennis Champagne is found and is in custody, Salisbury says her and her nephew are staying indoors. And if she spots the man everyone's looking for, she'll know it. Everybody knows everybody. So a new face, we'll know a new face. And we are looking. The sheriff says tips are coming in, and if anyone sees anything, give them a call. In the newsroom, Brittany Weiss, WBRZ News 2. All right, Brittany. Now, it's not clear what...